afternoon, and welcome to the christening and launching of the dredging vessel R.B. Weeks. Yeah. I want to thank you all for enduring the summer heat to be here with us. This is a great milestone for our company and our customer and our community, and your presence here today makes it that much more special, so thank you. The R.B. Weeks is an 8,550 cubic yard capacity, state-of-the-art trailing suction hopper dredge being built for our longtime customer, Weeks Marine. This vessel is a sister ship to the dredging vessel Magdalene that Eastern delivered to Weeks Marine in 2017. On behalf of the Discernia family and all of the employees here at Eastern Shipbuilding, I would like to sincerely thank the Weeks family and Weeks Marine for entrusting us with the task of building this beautiful vessel. Special thanks go out to Steve Chatry, Charlie McCaskill, Hans Blomberg, Suman Katapali, and Jason Self. These employees have been working directly on this project uh, shoulder to shoulder with our folks at Eastern uh, to make today possible, so we cannot thank them enough. I would also like to thank the men and women of Eastern Shipbuilding Group that have worked tirelessly building this vessel during the post-Hurricane Michael recovery period and in the face of a global pandemic. Make no mistake, the world has taken notice that you have once again kept your promise in the face of such adversity, and that is something to be very, very proud of. I am particularly proud that Eastern and Weeks have been able to keep this project on schedule and on budget during these challenging times. I can tell you from experience, this can only be accomplished when you have a motivated builder, a motivated owner, and a collective mindset to find solutions to challenges truly as a team. Please join me in a round of applause for the folks at ESG and Weeks Marine. Joining me on the podium today is Mr. Rich Weeks, uh, CEO and Chairman of the Board of Weeks Marine, as well as Allie Weeks, today's uh, the vessel sponsor. And now I'd like to turn the mic over to Mr. Rich Weeks for a few remarks. Rich. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, my name is Rich Weeks. Uh, R.B. Weeks is or was my grandfather, and in a family tradition we have, he's R.B. Weeks, my father is R.N. Weeks, I'm R.S. Weeks, my son is R.M. Weeks. It can be a little confusing, but we use letters a lot in Weeks Marine. I, uh, I want to thank everyone for being here. We not only have R.B. Weeks' grandson here, but his two sons, my father, Dick Weeks, and Ted Weeks, 93 and 92 years old, I believe, over there. My daughter, Alexandra Weeks, and two of my grandchildren, Eleanor Weeks, up here, and William Owen Weeks, Weeks Owens, rather, in the tent with uh, Grandpa. We also have the entire Weeks family participating one way or the other, and by that I mean the Weeks Marine family. And that just means an awful lot to me. I mean, our, our core values at Weeks Marine are to be passionate about what we do, be uh, collaborative, be thoughtful, and to be accountable. Those are our core values. That's what drives us. That's the example our employees share with everyone we work with. And frankly, those are the values that are shared by everyone who's worked with us on building this vessel. I mean, it's, that's what we're all about, and you can see what a difference it makes. Uh, Eastern's been great. IHC has been great. Our everyone has worked really effectively and shown what can be done when we collaboratively work, are passionate about what we do, are accountable and thoughtful to others. So I thank you again, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing something happen here. <laughs> Great. 
All right. Thank you for the kind words, Rich. Um, you made some great points up there, and it's clear to me why our two companies work so well together. We share a lot of common core values, and uh, our, our uh, families, both uh, our direct family and our company families, they're uh, equally important to both of us. So um, it's no wonder why we work so well together, and we're going to continue to do so. So thank you for the opportunity. Uh, now we have uh, Father Kevin of St. John's Church is with us uh, today to bless the vessel. So I'm going to turn it over to Father Kevin. Father. We begin our prayer invoking the name of our God, who is love, by the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This blessing today represents the work of countless people, talents, and time, all things given to us by our Heavenly Father. So this blessing that we offer today is a prayer of thanksgiving for all of the work that has led up to this moment and a prayer of blessing for protection for all who will sail on this mighty vessel. And so for our reflection today, let us reflect on Jesus and how he proves he is worthy of all our trust. Jesus got into a boat, and his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified? O you of little faith. Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? It is this Lord whom we invoke today to bless this vessel, and so we pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, as we ask that you turn aside every unfavorable wind from this boat, and by your unsurpassed power, calm the seas around it. Under your protection, let those who sail it realize their just desires and arrive safely in harbor. We ask this all through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for that, Father Kevin. And now uh, we have Allie Weeks, Ms. Allie Weeks. Uh, who will be christening the vessel. Allie is uh, today's vessel sponsor, which is uh, quite the honor, so we'll get right to it. God bless this ship and all who sail on her. <laughs> 